Say, Say was formerly an acronym for Consumer Electronics Show but is now the official name is an annual trade show organized by the Consumer Technology Association CTA. Held in January at the Las Vegas Convention Center in Las Vegas, Nevada, United States, the event typically hosts presentations of new products and technologies in the consumer electronics industry. History The first say was held in June 1967 in New York City. It was a spin-off from the Chicago Music Show, which, until then, had served as the main event for exhibiting consumer electronics. The event had 17,500 attendees and over 100 exhibitors. The kickoff speaker was Motorola chairman Bob Galvin. From 1978 to 1994, Say was held twice each year, once in January in Las Vegas known for Winter Consumer Electronics Show WCES, and once in June in Chicago, known as Summer Consumer Electronics Show SCES. The Winter Show was successfully held in Las Vegas in 1995 as planned. However, since the summer Chicago shows were beginning to lose popularity, the organizers decided to experiment by having the show travel around to different cities starting in 1995 with a planned show in Philadelphia at the Pennsylvania Convention Center. However, the inaugural E3 gaming show was scheduled to be held on the West Coast in May and proved a source of increasing competition, causing the Philadelphia Summer Say Show to be canceled. The 1996 Winter Show was again held in Las Vegas in January, followed by a summer show this time in Orlando, Florida, however only a fraction of the traditional exhibitors participated. Again, the 1997 Winter Show in Las Vegas was very successful. The next summer Show was scheduled to be held in conjunction with Spring COMDEX in Atlanta, however when only two dozen or so exhibitors signed on, the say portion of the show was cancelled. In 1998, the show changed to a once-a-year format with Las Vegas as the location. In Las Vegas, the show is one of the largest, the other being CONEXPO CON, AGG, taking up to 18 days to set up, run and break down. Topic. Show highlights Topic. 1967 The first say was held in New York City from June 24 to 28, 1967. The 200 exhibitors attracted 17,500 attendees to the Hilton and Americana hotels over those four days. On view, the latest pocket radios and TVs sporting integrated circuits. Topic. 1970 Philips unveiled the first ever home VCR, the N1500 videocassette recorder. Until that point, VCRs cost upward of $50,000 and were used mainly by TV stations, but the Philips model with a built-in tuner was just $900. Topic. 1976 Winter Say held January 7-9 in Chicago, at the Conrad Hilton Hotel. Per the show guide, it included video with television receivers and video systems panels, audio including CB radio, radio, audio compacts, audio components, and tape equipment panels, and calculator and watch areas, considered separate component conferences. Speakers included the FTC's Joan Bernstein on The Warranty Law, Its Status and Impact and the FCC's Richard M. Smith on regulating citizens' banned radios. Summer Say held June 13-16 also in Chicago, at McCormick Place. Topic. 1979 Winter Say held January in Las Vegas. Atari 400 and 800 computers introduced. Summer Say held June 3 to 6 in Chicago at McCormick Place. Features per the show guide included personal communications, retail advertising, promotion and store layout, exports, video, audio, auto sound, telephone sales, and a large series of retail sales and sales management breakouts. Topic 
Topic 1982. Some are say June 6 that Chicago saw the first appearance of Commodore 64 and General Consumer Electronics GCE Vectrex. Topic 1993. In a one-time experiment, the Summer Say 1993 was open to the general public. Major announcements during this edition were Capcom unveils Mega Man X for the first time in North America. Topic 2002. Microsoft demonstrated a preview version of Windows XP Media Center edition at Say 2002. Topic 2004. The Blu-ray Group held at the January 2004 say the first U.S. press conference to promote the Blu-ray disc format. Topic 2005. The 2005 say was from January 6 to 9, 2005, in Las Vegas, Nevada, at the Las Vegas Convention Center. The event started off with a twist when the main keynote address by Microsoft Chairman Bill Gates went wrong, as his demonstration of Windows Media Center resulted in a blue screen of death, much to the amusement of the onlookers. Samsung showed off a 102-inch plasma television, Zimity Limited, renamed Boardbug Limited in 2007, won the Best of Innovators Award for Personal Electronics. It is the only British company to have won this award. Topic 2006 The 2006 exhibition took place on January 5 to 8, 2006, at the Las Vegas Convention Center, the Sands Convention Center, the Alexis Park Hotel and the Las Vegas Hilton Hotel. HDTV was a central theme in the Bill Gates keynote as well as many of the other manufacturers' speeches. The standards competition between HD DVD and Blu-ray disc was conspicuous, with some of the first HD movie releases and first HD players being announced at the show. Philips showed a rollable display prototype whose screen can retain an image for several months without electricity. Hillcrest Labs won the Best of Innovations award in the video accessories category for software and hardware that allows a television to be controlled with natural gestures. Attendance was over 150,000 individuals in 1.67 million net square feet of space, making it the largest electronics event in the United States. Topic 2007 In a break from recent tradition, the 2007 Say exhibition did not begin on a Thursday, nor span a weekend. It ran from Monday to Thursday on January 8 to 11, 2007. The venues also changed slightly, with the High Performance Audio and Home Theater Expo moving from the Alexis Park venue to the Venetian. The remaining venues were the same as previous years. The Las Vegas Convention Center was the center of events, with the adjacent Las Vegas Hilton, and the Sands Expo and Convention Center hosting satellite exhibitions. The location for the main keynotes was the other major change for 2007. Previously held at the Las Vegas Hilton's main theater, they staged for the first time at the Palazzo Ballroom in the Venetian. Bill Gates gave his ninth pre show keynote address on the Sunday evening. The opening keynote was presented by Gary Shapiro, President, CEO of the Consumer Electronics Association, which hosts the event, with Ed Zander, Chairman, CEO of Motorola. Other keynote speakers scheduled included Robert Igea from the Walt Disney Company, Michael Dell, founder of Dell Inc., and Leslie Moonves of CBS. Finally, industry insider presentations moved to the Las Vegas Hilton, with contributions from Oli Pekla Kalisvuo, CEO of Nokia and John Chambers, CEO of Cisco. In the gaming section for Windows Vista and DirectX 10, there were two games shown, Age of Conan and Crisis. Topic 2008 
The 2008 exhibition was from January 7 to 10, 2008, in Las Vegas with 141,150 attendees. Bill Gates gave the keynote speech, in which he formally announced his retirement from his day-to-day -day duties at Microsoft. Along with the announcement, he presented a lengthy comedy skit on what his last day with Microsoft would be like, complete with cameos from celebrities including Jay-Z, Steven Spielberg, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton and many others. Panasonic attracted much attention by releasing a 150 plasma TV, as well as a 50 inches. TV as thin as 0.46 in, 11.6 mm. Topic 2009 The 2009 exhibition, held January 7-10, 2009, returned to the previous Thursday to Sunday schedule, and attracted 113,085 attendees. Among more than 2,700 exhibiting companies were approximately 300 first-time exhibitors. Several highlights include organic light-emitting diode OLED televisions, the Palm Pre, Mattel Minflex game, Pico projectors, the Marvel Shiva Plug Plug computer, and 3D projectors, the Minoru 3D webcam, a USB webcam that is billed as the world's first stereoscopic 3D consumer stereo webcam won the fans' favorite award. Dell introduced its Dell Adamo subnotebook, the game show Jeopardy, filmed one episode from the Celebrity Series and the 2009 Tournament of Champions on a new set at the Sony booth. The set was moved to their main studio at Sony Pictures Studios in Culver City, California, starting with the show's 26th season through the 29th season. Say 2009 suffered 22% or more attendance drop, which was attributed to the global financial crisis. Topic 2010. The 2010 exhibition was held January 7 to 10, 2010, and attracted more than 120,000 attendees. Highlights include the Intel Infoscape, which is run on the Intel Core i7 processor. One computer ran two 7-foot (2.1 meters) screens, displaying 576 cubes hooked up to 20,000 info sources, including 20 live video feeds. Visitors would touch one of the cubes, and an infobox displaying that content would come forward. One journalist explained, The graphics on the giant screens were a tons of fun to move around with their uncanny quickness and smooth motion, and the whole thing felt super responsive, giving us a peek into the future, it seemed a lot like that computer screen in the movie Minority Report. It was the most spectacular demo we saw at say 2010. Equally impressive, Parrot presented the first prototype of Parrot R drone, a remote-controlled flying toy which streams video via Wi-Fi to an iPhone. Sustainable Planet grew by 40% in 2010. Topic 2011. The 2011 exhibition was held from January 6 to 9, 2011. CESWEB is reporting that the pre-audit numbers show an attendance of 128,949. Many tablets were introduced in 2011's show, such as the Motorola Zoom tablet, winning Best of Show, which runs Android Honeycomb. Many 4G phones were also unveiled at the show, including the LG Revolution, Samsung Infuse 4G, HTC Thunderbolt, Sony Ericsson Xperia Arc, Motorola CLIQ2, Motorola Droid Bionic, and Motorola Atrix 4G. In a push towards mobile devices, Microsoft demonstrated an early version of the next release of the Windows operating system, running on ARM-based devices. 3D TVs were introduced by many giants, such as Mitsubishi's 92-inch model of its 2011 lineup of theater-sized 3D home cinema TVs. Toshiba also unveiled its glasses free 4K 3D TV prototype. Samsung announced the Plasma 3D HD TV series named D8000 and LG introduced the LED 3D TV of its Infinia Nano series.3 Net, a 3D TV channel co-owned by Discovery Communications, Sony, and IMAX, was previewed. Topic 2012 The 2012 exhibition was held from January 8 to 13, 2012. 
Microsoft released an official statement saying that Say 2012 will be Microsoft's last appearance at the event. The show organizers claimed that 153,000 people attended the 2012 show, a 2% increase from the previous year and a new all-time attendance record. Intel was caught falsifying a demo of their new Ivy Bridge processors. AMD demonstrated their new Trinity Opus, AMTC was demonstrating this Tier 2 CE products middleware featuring the InView technology platform. InView claimed that its low processing and memory footprint means connected TV capabilities are available at low cost, as the software is provided royalty-free. Parrot presented the world's most advanced headphones. The Parrot Zik by Stark, this was also the first year in which the Photo Marketing Association held its annual trade show in conjunction with Say, with the PMA show branded as PMA at Say. Topic 2013 The 2013 International Say, instead of starting on Thursday went from Tuesday to Friday January 8-11, 2013, in the Las Vegas Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada, United States. Over 3,000 exhibitors showcased a wide range of innovative products this year. Say 2013 was known for what was billed as an insane opening by Qualcomm. This year the categories include 3D, accessories, audio, automotive electronics, embedded technology, lifestyle electronics, wireless and wireless devices to name a few. 2013 International Say however was not necessarily being noted for announcing the newest products, but getting a lot of press for the fundamental changes about to hit the digital world, such as motion detection sensors, the driverless cars and digital home safety and technology. Major announcements during this edition were, Samsung unveils multi-view TVs and flexible OLED display Yum Sony announced Sony Xperia Z smartphone, and Samsung announced Galaxy S2 Plus smartphone. Sony announces TRILUMINOS Quantum Dot Display Technology. Qualcomm unveils Snapdragon 600 and 800 processors that can bring 4K recording capability in mobile phones Intel reveals Atom processor for embedded markets as well as Bay Trail Panasonic announces a wide range of smart TVs. The Panasonic Smart Viera HD TVs lineup includes 16 plasmas and 16 LEDs. Razer announces Razer Edge Tablet PC NVIDIA announces Android Handheld Project Shield Research in Motion shows off BlackBerry 10 touchscreen phone Topic. 2014 The 2014 International Say was held during the week from January 7 to 10, 2014, in the Las Vegas Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada, United States. The first Li Fi smartphone prototype was presented at the show. The smartphone uses SunPartners YSIPS Connect, a technique that converts light waves into usable energy, making the phone capable of receiving and decoding signals without drawing on its battery. The phone also has a transparent photovoltaic screen that lets light recharge the phone. LG debuted its Webos on Smart TV S and new 77-inch curved OLED Ultra HD TV. Samsung unveiled its curved TVs with two series of concave TVs. Protectcell showcased its comprehensive mobile protection plans for all major devices, including the iPhone 5S and 5C, iPad Air, iPad Mini 2 and Galaxy S4. With demonstrations such as blending a BlackBerry, Protectcell proves they will cover all damages. The AMD presentation mentioned, among others, the Kaveri CPU of the Steamroller architecture, heterogeneous system architecture (HSA) lineup, and the intention to build upon that. Immersive experience, Mantle, and AMD True Audio. In the Intel keynote presentation, its CEO talked about three areas in which technology can improve: living, working, and playing. He also presented Intel Edison, a sock of the SD card format. Pebble announced the Pebble Steel smartwatch, which has a thin body, tactile metal buttons, and Corning Gorilla Glass. Laser diodes were unveiled at the show that are going to be used for high beam headlights in Audi vehicles. The high beams will be lasers, though the low beams will be light emitting diodes. The car maker says that their high beams have a 500 meter range, which is roughly twice the distance of LED high beams. Lasers are expensive though. Lasers are smaller, brighter and more energy efficient than LED headlamps. Their laser headlamps use less than half the energy of LEDs. Laser diodes can emit 170 lumens per watt, while LEDs generate only 100 lumens. Lasers are sensitive to heat but that has not stopped the production for vehicles. 
Laser technology is not as advanced compared with LEDs, which have been around for decades. Topic 2015. The 2015 International Say was held during the week January 6 to 9, 2015, in the Las Vegas Convention Center, Las Vegas, Nevada, United States. The 2015 Say was reportedly the largest in its history, with 3,600 exhibitors and 170,000 professional industry attendees. The Internet of Things, impacting all other industries, has been recognized as the buzzword of the Say edition 2015. The interoperability between the connected objects, with changing and multiple alliances, and if some of the products are meeting real needs or are only gadgets, are the main issues detected. Wearables, involving health trackers, as the smartwatch, are getting more specialized and design is getting better, fitting better to the mass market. Robots and home automation devices were omnipresent. Major announcements included a realistic robotic hostess by Toshiba, autonomous telepresence bots by Intel and iRobot, a developer program for Google's Nest, Samsung's SmartThings hub for connecting devices, and a number of Apple HomeKit brand home automation products. Though the company stopped officially exhibiting at Say back in 1992, every automaker who had any kind of presence at the show offered a glimpse into some kind of intelligent, driver-free technology, from parking to advanced object recognition. Audi showed four generations of driver assist automated car tech, unlike 3D TV, which has disappeared from the announcements at the SAY 2015. 3D visualization is now more specialized and target the B2B environment, from modelization to immersive glasses and helmets for architects, healthcare specialists, or gamers. 3D printing continues to grow and vendors make meaningful improvements in their products, while making them easier to use and less expensive. Most TV manufacturers announced 4K TV models. Samsung released several new 4K televisions including a massive 105-inch set that bends on command. LG unveiled the LG G Flex 2, second generation of its curved Android smartphone, and a new lineup of 4K televisions including one bending TV as well. Sharp showed off its Ultra HD 8K television expected for late 2015. Sony showed off a 4K action camera which automatically detects the best parts of your footage and picks out the best clips for you. Toyota revealed it plans to release its fuel cell patents to the public royalty-free. 2016 The 2016 Say was held January 6 to 9, 2016, in Las Vegas, and 3,600 companies attended. The Say 2016 venues of the Las Vegas Convention Center, the Westgate Las Vegas Resort and Casino, and the Sands Expo and Convention Center had over 2.4 million square feet utilized for the event. The 2016 event had notably more security with full bag searches and police officers in armored gear and explosives detection dogs. In 2016, there were only 22 Say Innovation Awards honorees in the Tech for a Better World category. These included Advanced Ordnance Teaching, Clinical B-Day, Osseous Cota Wireless Power Technology, EFIT, EggyTouch Smart Fingerprint NFC Luggage Lock, iTribe Tracker Pro, Homnistat, Hydrow, Jacko T Hearing Suite, K1 Assistive Device, Luminon, Matrix, Netatmo Presence, No Q Lock, Owlet Baby Monitor, Panacast 2, Remapil, CO, Smart Air Purifier, The New Kano, Whirlpool Smart Top Load, and Z Power, one of the most anticipated technologies at 2016. Say was experiencing consumer device charging without wires, or wireless power, as shown by companies like Energis, Ossia, and Witricity. Topic 2017 Say 2017 was held January 5 to 8, 2017, in Las Vegas. Even with tight security at the show, two prototype Razer triple-screen gaming laptops were stolen during the show. Min Liang Tan, co-founder and chief executive officer of Razer, said that the company is treating the case as industrial espionage. A Razer spokesperson said they were offering $25,000 for any original information leading to the identification, arrest and conviction of anyone who was involved with the crime. Topic 2018 Say 2018 was held January 9-12, 2018, in Las Vegas, Nevada, United States. 
Many companies such as Amazon, Nvidia, and Google had a presence at the event. The newest model of Sony's Ibo Companion robot was featured here, and was noticed as one of the standout items of 2018. In this year, there were 31 Say Innovation Award categories. Say Best of Innovation Award honorees included Siren Diabetic Socks, 2018 Nissan Leaf, Samsung's first consumer micro LED TV, Y Charger's long range wireless power technology, Intel Movidius Neural Compute Stick, 3D Touch Surface Display by Continental Automotive Systems, iPoly Autonomous Store Platform, AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X, Amarillo's AR4, AI Security Camera, IRIVER Media Player, Bang and Olufsen's Beosound Shape, Buddy Robot by Blue Frog Robotics, HP's 3D Camera, Dell Ocean Bound Plastics Packaging Program, Elec by Intuition Robotics, Ethereal Halo by Ethereal Machines, Instruments 01 World's First Dimensioning Instrument, Kensington Veramark Fingerprint Key, Lancy Smart Space Heater, LG 4K UHD Projector, Light L16 Multi Aperture Camera, Low Oxide VR, Mars Smart TWS Earbuds, Sproutle Social Robot, Nura Headphones, NUVI Z Head Up Display for motorcyclists, Samsung Family Hub 3.0 refrigerator, Trident 3 Arctic Gaming Console, Dynamics Wallet Card, WHILL Model C and Willow Wearable Breast Pump. In a way of celebrating Say 2018, a Las Vegas strip club even decided to introduce the public to their creations, which were the world's first ever robot strippers. Companies offering wireless charging solutions were popular at Say 2018. Many vendors had shown off contact-based charging pads. Others demonstrated products delivering power at a distance. Some vendors exhibited near-field products Energis, Powercast, and mid-field products Ossia, Ubeam. Y-Charge has demonstrated first far-field charging product. Topic 2019 Say 2019 is being held on January 8-11, 2019 in Las Vegas, Nevada with 182K plus total attendance and 4.4K plus companies exhibited. John Deere had a presence at the event while Mercedes-Benz debuted the second-generation CLA class at the show. News conference, media only, January 6-9 keynotes and conference program at Tech East, Tech West and Tech South, January 7-11 exhibitors at Tech East and Tech West, January 8-11 C Space conference program and exhibits at Arla, January 7-10 Honda introduced the autonomous work vehicle and PATH, predicting action of the human, bot at the show. Russia's search giant Yandex announced that they had been offering free driverless rides as a demo of their autonomous Yandex taxi service. There are 30 Say Innovation Award categories. Say Best of Innovation honorees include the KitchenAid Cook Processor Connect, LG V40 Think, Zumi Robocar, Ring Spotlight Cam, Samsung 2019 Family Hub, and the 2018 Nissan Leaf for the second time in a row. Google had set up its Google Assistant themed ride at the booth. Before the show started, CTA revoked the Say 2019 Innovation Awards winner in the robotics and drone category, the Ose female focused sex toy, stating it was immoral, obscene, indecent, profane, or not in keeping with CTA's image, and prohibited it from being showcased at Say. TechCrunch and the Ose designers highlighted that a sex doll for men was launched at Say 2018 and a VR porn company exhibited every year, so this seemed a biased decision. Topic. Booth Babes Controversy Part of the press, including the BBC and The Verge in 2012-2014 and Shiny Shiny in 2015 found unsuitable the presence of Booth Babes, scantily dressed glamour models, at the show. Other publications, like PC Magazine, although aware of the controversy, published galleries of Booth Babes without negative commentary. In 2013, Say organizers released statements in which they claimed that enforcing business casual attire for the exhibitor personnel would be impractical and would detract Say staff on the ground from their main focus of providing security. In a background story in The Wire, Rebecca Greenfield wrote that Booth Babes were initially called Say Guides and they date back to the beginning of the Consumer Electronics Show, 1967, and that They've been the subject of controversy and nerd fantasy alike. According to Greenfield's research, the first use of the term, Booth Babe, appeared in a Toronto Star article covering the 1986 say. She also writes that the scantily clad attire became norm 
at say in the 1970–1980 decade, in synchrony with similar developments in the auto show industry. Greenfield also remarks that complaints about booth babes at say are not new. She points out that, for example, Network World wrote a few separate times that it was flat out tired of booth babes not because of the sexism so much as the predictability. For example, in 1999, Network World's Dave Brueger criticized the practice of employing spokesmodels, most of whom wouldn't know an ATM module if it bit them on their overexposed GAMs. Greenfield notes that other electronics shows like E3 adopted a similar practice of encouraging booth babes in the late 1990s, but abandoned it in 2006 after outcry, with E3 organizers later threatening to fine any exhibitor for nudity, partial nudity, and bathing suit bottoms. Topic. See also IFA Berlin, Germany Sebit Hanover, Germany Computex Taipei, Taiwan Mobile World Congress Barcelona, Spain GITEX Dubai, UAE